Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Got another film review for you today. So I've just finished watching the new Clint Eastwood film, Cry Macho. Um, so I thought I would give you my thoughts on it. So without further ado, let's get into this. So before I begin with this film, um, let me ask you if you've subscribed or not, and if you haven't, then why not? You should do. Button's just down below. Please do so. Um, it will help the channel a lot, help me create a lot more content. But yeah, so this film, Cry Macho, so obviously starring Clint Eastwood. It's um, produced by Clint Eastwood and it's directed by Clint Eastwood. Now, everyone knows who Clint Eastwood is. Who doesn't? He's a fantastic actor and he's a fantastic director. And this film's no exception to that. Um... Props to him, he's 91 years old and he's still going strong. He's still knocking out these films, he's still behind the camera and in front of the camera, and he doesn't seem to be letting up. Um, yeah, so good luck to the guy. Um, but let's talk about the film. So, the basic premise for this film the film is set in 1978, and Clint Eastwood plays a sort of rushed, washed up rodeo star and horse breeder. Um, <laughs> And for a former boss of his, he takes a job whereby he has to go into Mexico to find the son of this fella um, and, and get him and bring him back. Um, down in Mexico, the son lives with his mother. She's a bit of an alcoholic and all this sort of stuff. And there's, you know, the son's possibly being mistreated and all this sort of stuff. So Clint Eastwood has to go down, get the boy and bring him back up to America, um, to Texas, to his father. So this is the basic premise of the film. Um, so it is a road trip movie. Clint Eastwood obviously does get the sun and then it's their journey across um, Mexico, rural Mexico and back up into America. Um, a rather arduous task that takes a considerable amount of time. Um, obviously along the way they, they bond, they form a friendship and um, Clint Eastwood, um, his character, um, treats the son, um, treats the boy almost like a son, teaching him things that he knew about horses and animals and all this sort of thing on the way. Um, Clint Eastwood also befriends this, um, Mexican woman. Um, yeah, I mean, the film, it runs at one hour and 44 minutes, um, and it's, it's shot lovely, it's, you know, Clint Eastwood's a fantastic director, and like I said, this film is no exception, it's beautifully directed. Um, the pacing for the film I found to be a bit slow. The film does drag at one hour and 44 minutes, or, or 100, um, sorry, one, one hour and 44 minutes, the film does drag at that length, I felt. Um, although it is fantastically acted by all within and fantastically shot, um, Cinematography is beautiful, the colours are muted but but brilliant in the film, you know, it, it's, it looks fantastic. Um, Mexico looks beautiful in the film. Um, but when you compare it to some of Clint Eastwood's recent stuff over the past decade, it, it kind of falls short in, in that sense that it is, it is a, it's a slower film. Um, if it was any longer I would have probably been getting bored. Um, I'm not knocking Clint Eastwood as a director or as an actor because he shines within the film. Um, you know, his screen presence is fantastic. Even at 91 years old, he's, he's still got it. He still um, draws you in. Um, the story is, is nothing overly new. It is based on a book of the same name. Um, but it's a kind of story that we have seen before. And, um, yeah... I mean, the film, it's a good film, it's, it's a good film, I would give it a rewatch at some point, maybe five, ten years down the line, it wouldn't be a quick rewatch. Um, just primarily for the pacing of the film, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good enough, um, it is obviously a Warner Brother movie, um, in America it's rated PG-13, over here it'd probably, I don't know, be a, probably be a 15 or something like that, or a 12A, I don't know. 
So there's no violence in it as such or anything like that. There's no real gunplay. I mean, there's no, no sort of action. It's, it's, it's a character study. It's, it's these two, two characters on the road who form a friendship, form a bond, start learning about one another. Um, I mean, the end is somewhat predictable um, to a degree. You know, you knew how it was going to go, how it was going to play out. But, you know, if you like Clint Eastwood, then, then give this film a watch. It, it was, it, you know, other than, like I said, the pacing for me was a bit off. But um, the film's directed fantastically and it's um, it, it's shot very nice. Um, so, yeah, so I would give the film a thumbs up. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, that was just a quick review for the film, my thoughts on it. But, yeah, so if you like that, please consider subscribing to the channel, leave me a comment all that sort of stuff, and I'll get back to you. Um, this is AJ, thank you for watching, take care all, goodbye.